Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty with an attack on a Pandora Lair. Locate and eliminate the spawnery with our prime team. I want to try to get at least a couple of captures out of this because for 600 mutagens we could build another uh, vehicle i suppose one of these large beasts that uh, we can put into our bases and at the moment that's the latest favorite of the month for me i really appreciate them i think we got uh, sufficiently equipped here wouldn't see the uh, any upgrades at the moment i know that we're building a couple of them for the future but the name of the game currently is to uh, to gain archaeological runes and then extract more of uh, these valuable resources and then build even more of the good weapons guess what we landed and we landed right into a terror sentinel not exactly the type of welcome that i would appreciate there's some loot here well I guess it's fair to say we will need to kill the set. Because I'm not going to stand uh, by idly and accept uh, that we are being shouted at or screamed at. Now you can be alerted all day long. I don't mind. One. Two, and I'll tell you what, whilst we're at it. Three, good. That regains us some points. I have to wonder, can we capture uh, that guy though? I think it will depend a bit on Dilly G's ability to hit uh, his shots. Good. The idea for the beginning here. Another one of them. Okay, well. That Terror Sentinel will not be a problem for us at all. Um, let me just open the way for us. Because all of this here starts getting a bit annoying. We can at least move through. Shadow Realm moves up. And that's another onslaught. Now, back to what we were doing originally. was pumping a mass of shots into this guy there we go that's my boy overwatching okay and in the meantime i'm pretty sure the spawnery is to the top right maybe to the uh, uh to the top left maybe to the top right Oh, look at you. Well, that is interesting, isn't it? Do we have the mind shield? 
Allies within Tentiles uh, cannot take psychic damage, but that does not prevent them from being mind controlled, unfortunately. Remove them to here. Euler moves over. And speaking about not wanting to be mind controlled. Shattered Realm most certainly does not want to be mind controlled. Hence the move to here. And Murphy moves up. How much willpower do these guys have by the way? 37. So even with 21 willpower, which is already, mind you, generous, you can still be mind controlled. <laughs> and of course, she hits, she hits the mind control. She nails it. But it won't uh, help her. She will go down uh, this turn. Not even a question. Seeing no further movement. We are going downstairs. Hello. And let's start. My memory served me well. Paralyzing someone means that uh, the mind controlled unit actually gets all of their turns back instead of just destroying the head, which would mean that we still lose the turn. Is that the case? No, I was wrong. Uh, maybe I misremember or it had worked once but it is not working anymore. Polly is going to move up. Okay, we're Seeing a few enemies, but nothing to be majorly concerned about. We're slowly but surely continuing to move up. Oila is the only one out of willpower, the rest is okay. Is moving up. And Dilly is moving up just out of curiosity. Uh, we don't have the action points to hand over any more turns, but I think we're going to be fine. Alright, end of turn. I think this is the south east and that would be our landing zone. He does have a gun, so we got to be a bit careful here. I would 
like to capture as many of them as possible. Hearing a Skrilla somewhere down here. Technician heals himself. And there is the other Skrilla I was talking about. Good, Dilly moves over. And now we have a lot of targets to take care of. Specifically with that stupid shield. How do we deal with the shield? Tranks moves over. Let's try to get the shield down. Okay, so, look, this guy needs to be taken out, and Dilly is the right man for the job. On the other side of the map. This guy needs to be taken out. And Euler is the right man for the job. I would like to hit the Skrilla, uh, the Siren rather. <sighs> and we found the spawnery which is, yep, up there. Okay, cool. Onslaught, and we're continuing to make sure that she is not going to wake up. I think 15 rounds are fine. Next turn, we can continue to act. Giving everybody a little bit of armor. Oh, and we do have a pistol, so technically we could hit someone. There we go. Murphy nails it. Grell moves up. I just want to make sure that 
he's also staying nice and put. Dilly. Continues. Has gotten this guy down to almost being paralyzed. Nope, that's not going to be enough, so we're just going to overwatch for now. And Euler is moving slightly to here. Equally, Paulie is moving into cover. And that's the end of the turn. That is so nice of you to come visit us. And make sure that we can immediately stun you. Cool. As to be expected on uh, such a rather full map, everything is coming in our uh, into our direction. uses war scream and before we do anything let's One, two, three, done. One, two, three, done. Murphy moves up, misses a crucial shot, she is not yet slowed. come to her in a second okay that's a good hit And in the meantime, we're trying to get down the shields. I must say, I gave uh, the bow a bit of a hard time. But I have to admit, it's actually doing quite a bit of work. Dilly dashes in a bit of a 
more freely accessible shooting position. All eyes on you now. watching not enough will points uh. we definitely need to catch a break next turn just too many Utilizations of uh, will point abilities. One, two, it's fifteen turns. Yeah, most of them are very well taken out. Some of them, however, are not. And the Skrilla here, uh, the Siren in particular, worries me a bit. the expected mind control. Okay, so moving up. One, two, Drengs needs to get some healing. Hmm. Can't shift any more actions. The only thing that we can do is move there and hit her. takes care of the paralysis um, of the mind control which in return means we have all the time that we need in order to recover here and then heal next turn
we can get him um, by charging in next turn. Dilly needs to solve the this flank here by himself. One, two, three. Should have reloaded beforehand. Uh, we are recovering. Ian moves over because we will start hitting that guy next turn. Okay, and we're out of actions. Two more enemies to deal with. Interesting to see that he would choose to go toe to toe with us. Good, so let's do some repair. Whilst we're at it, let's do some healing. Oh, we just don't have any ammunition uh, anymore. Okay, well that explains a lot. Rel moves up. puts an end to this stupidity here. Ola needs to regain willpower. Dilly is abandoning the other flank, respectively. Is... Asking for some more ammunition. There you go. Murphy also hands over some, no, wrong side, also hands over some ammunition before Deciding not to be able to shoot anymore. Okay, so I needed to go for a short bio break. We got uh, drinks here left over. And we're just making sure we're being okay. Strength is just going to re-sleep all of the enemies. Shattered Realm also regains some some more willpower. Okay, we just lost the neuralizer. Could have been worse. <coughs> so, first things first, everybody. <laughs> Frenzy. Second uh, order of the day. <coughs> Ian needs to get healed back up. Yeah, 
we can always repair him a bit later. Third order of the day. Free reload. And let's get that last guy. Okay, handing over more actions and we're slowly but surely going to move to the actual target of this mission. The respawn has not been kind to us. One, two, that should be more than enough. Good, we're starting to move over. Like I said, the respawn has not been kind to us. It's just a lot to process. This guy here needs another slap as well. up uh, the new item how about we're moving here inappropriate Murphy definitely could benefit from onslaught but unfortunately he does not have that ability there we go that was a good hit With the exception of one guy down here, which I don't think matters now, everybody else is okay. Almost 10 rounds, okay. Not yet okay, but soon. I mean, I could charge over there and kill them with melee, but point in trying that at the at this point so that one uh, this guy is the only one not really taken out for a long period of time every other opponent is being taken out now we are going to need to get through here and here in order to get to the spawnery and i think that's pretty much the end of this round here we go <laughs> Somewhere out there sits a sniper in the hope uh, in the hopes to annoy us. Okay, we're moving all the way to here. Did we just spot out the sniper? <clears throat> if 
Apparently not. Ian moves up. Next up, Grell. I would uh, say the next turn could be one where she uses Adrenaline Rush, just gets this out of the way, this, and then uh, to the point. Moving up with Pauly. Once we're no longer trying to capture anyone, our inherit speed bonus is so much better, so... Per definition, we should outrun everyone. Murphy is the slowest uh, one, but everybody else should really be fast. many shots would he take? Two. That's well, too many. There's a fine line between just sensible uh, capturing and pure greed. And the moment that you hit the greed line... You take risks, and this team here really shouldn't take any risks. Matter of fact, it should be smooth sailing for us. back um, just for full transparency we need some healing and we can't get that yet so that's unfortunate we'll maybe get it next turn adrenaline rush now getting a lot of stones out of the way that's good very good please continue with your great job uh, growl done yet thankfully this rocket launcher just doesn't have any ammunition Good, we're moving further up. And it's time for even more explosions. Oh. 
Murphy charges forward. And Dilly starts to move forward. Very well. I think we have done everything. Good. As to our persecutors here, the ones that are trying to chase us down, I don't take these things lightly. <gasps> So I suppose feel my wrath. There we go. We are beginning to disable the body. Lots of bleed damage here. Regaining will points. And regaining even more will points. Which brings us to an appropriate Murphy. We can dish out quite a bit of damage with the laser PD, uh, PDW. No? Yes. One. Two. Nope. Not quite. And still not a hit. Let's try this again. First shots were all good, and then this game is teasing me. Okay, moving up. What a stupid overall setup. Okay, we're... We need to do that.
Okay, repairing the hat. Yes, please. Some extra healing. Yes, please. Okay, cool. Good, finally, that guy is down as well. Now, everything's destroyed, which means we are officially ready to get out of here. Next turn, I would guess we're out of here. Luckily that one was a miss. Everybody is fully healed, so we should be fine. He spots another siren, which is not a good sign. Not yet evacuate. Let's see. Yeah, we can get everybody out. Haven't even deployed the turret. We captured almost 10, might be a new record. That was successful. Good, what a run. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, I was on the money. We're a bit shy on technology. Hence, our magazines will not be uh, refreshed. But on the flip side, I think we have a lot of mutagens to harvest. The Hero is another shotgun that I definitely want. This is the um, shotgun that allows uh, the shredding of armor. Super good. Okay, back to getting a lot of mutagens. Cool, well, we're at the 1500. I think it's fair to say that we did a reasonably good job. Let's get one of these and then. You know what? Let's not. Let's. There we go. Uh, I think I cancelled something. Mm. Not good. I will need to rethink uh, what was in the building order. I wanted to try one of these and one of them. Okay. Got three potential war machines in our queue. Uh, I think our team needs a bit of refocus. So. We're going to be at Phoenix Point for a while, 
just to regain the stamina. In the meantime, let's trade. Very good. That gives us all the ammunition that we need. So, JP Pauly, repair, Ian does not require repair. But apparently it says broken body part. One, two. Full one, two. get an extra magazine just judging on how many um, how many shots we needed I'll just get some uh, some extra ammo Okay, the mission took a little bit longer than expected, so we can't immediately go back to back and do this mission. I would say, given where we currently are, it still makes sense to turn around and try that. Eight four two. Yes, please. Let's move on. Somehow I've already yet again used all of my building materials and that was mainly due to filling up uh, filling up stuff that was absolutely needed. Um, tell you what, we're going here first. Yes, and yes, so that fills, fills up some of uh, the uh, materials that we need. Nine for two. Yeah, the whole trading becomes a bit of a chore. Like I uh, said, it would potentially make sense to find some sort of automation for it. Two for twelve could work. For 10 isn't super sexy, but still we can do it. Construction complete. Satellite uplink uh, ready in Newfoundland, which means we might be able to find some new secrets up here. Mm. 
Yeah, that's Crookhaven yet again. I remember why I didn't trade at the South Pole. We had a vehicle flying here. Let's do that and that. Okay, we're just leaving the Helios here to regain stamina. And I think we need to do that sooner than later before it starts growing even further. Two for twelve, that's fantastic. We're going to fly up there. that well that means our team will get another uh, set of actions two for nine that's yet another crew cave and they always try to Give us the worst deals. And we're flying up. So, ten more hours for the archaeology lab, which will be a huge relief. Haven Info. Defending the Sinidrans would help us a bit because they are still not really supportive of our cause. Good oak. Um, I think next we wanted to do the bandits in Brazil. Let's just double check. Uh, the next one would be South America. We need one good rug uh, there. Uh, do we have something at Antarctica? Uh, no, Antarctica and South America would be the next. Oh, Europe. Uh, let's start with Europe first. Europe uh, and then uh, South America. I uh, will just position these good rooks there. And I tell you what, we're ending the episode here. <clears throat> And then we do have a good next episode where we are having a Pandora nest and right afterwards we're doing a defense that sounds like a fun episode in terms of prime team I was about to check how long it will take until they are ready Ein is part of Tierma 2 
So let's make him a technician. And let's give him remote control. Yes, please. And that's a good start. Still needs PDWs. Which, by the way, I remember what I wanted to build. It was indeed PDWs. Two of them, to be precise. Good, but that is not the original question that I had, which is our prime team. Repair here. Repair there. And a bit further repair. Good, we're fine. But they still need stamina, so let's wait until that has finished. Helios 5 soon can start flying and just trading a bit. Our next target with them will be down here, Pandoran Lair. And we got another big fat Pandoran Lair over here. So those will be two really helpful missions. As we're getting more material, I'm also wondering whether or not we open another base. If we were to open one, I could imagine that it is going to be down here. But there's like literally no one alive. So it might be a very lonely base. Instead, a better one could be here in Phoenix Charlie. Or alternatively, Phoenix Forward Command. Or here, which is Morocco ish. So that could help us get all of that out of the way. I wonder what, potentially this year would be the best one. It's a huge uh, radius of influence, pushes all of that away, potentially a little bit of that. So yeah, that would be our next uh, base. We could already go for it, but I'm waiting. I'm still waiting for it. We'll get uh, funds from the defense and from a couple of other things. Multi-sensor threat detection. Okay, we still have a lot to research, Pandoran Physiology, Tiamat range increases by 25%, that might not be bad. New armor piercing taus, uh, uh, Gauss can be used for turrets, yeah that's okay. Yeah, we're just having a lot of stuff that we still need to build. Anyways, uh, one uh, one thing that we need to build is a solid community on this channel. And if you want to help with that, uh, take out the mouse cursor, click on the like button and see you on the next episode, guys. Take care. See you in two days. Bye bye.